The quality of this car is exactly the what you would expect with an 8,000 mile that's been stored properly. It looks more like a car that's maybe five years old. She didn't really drive the car that much and she pampered the car. She looked after the car like it was her little baby. In the hierarchy of C3 Corvettes, a 72 350 automatic with air shouldn't really move the needle at all. I mean, the ultimate would be a ZL1, they're three, four million dollars, then an L88, call it a million dollars for the best one on the planet, then an L89, maybe $300,000, then an L71, you know, maybe $100,000, but this shouldn't really move the needle. So why did I get so excited when I walked through the door and saw these guys putting this up on our website? It's because the car is a super original car and I don't care if it's a Cobra, a Ferrari, a lowly 350 automatic with air Corvette. When they're this original, it's worth talking about. This car is literally the little old lady's car. Gertrude Stevens ordered the car brand new in 72 and really didn't use it much. She really enjoyed the car for almost 22 years, but she was a stickler for keeping all the original paperwork, the bill of sale, everything that came with the car when she ordered it, she kept it. She didn't really drive the car that much and she pampered the car. She looked after the car like it was her little baby. And with 8,000 miles on it today, the car still almost looks like a brand new car. It's 100% original paint. It's the Briar Blue, which is a really unique color, 72 only, and it's totally original. Tires, mufflers, exhaust, paint, interior. Most of the consumable parts are still the original parts as well all of the ball joints, tie rod ends. The only things that have been changed is the battery, the upper rad hose, and the filters. And literally everything else is the way it came from the factory. And she did such a tremendous job of looking after this car. If you look at this car, it is a benchmark car, and literally it's won every award, I'll go through those after, that you could possibly win. But when you look at all of the seams, the body lines along this car, they're perfect, they're textbook on this car. If you look at the glass, it's all the original glass with no marks in it. The interior, original seats, original dash, all the original weather strips on the car, nothing has been changed. Under the hood, it's kind of what you would expect from a car that has never been touched. It looks as good as one of these cars. It's never had a spray bomb taken to the engine bay. Nothing has been done to the car. All of the original markings and stickers are still in place. Some of the things you'll notice on the front of the car, you can see on the hood, the paint's gone a little funky. And people used to think that was from the air conditioned cars, but they really had a problem with the hoods in 72, and it's a common problem. We talked to an NCRS judge that judges the paints, and he says, this is a common thing. So is it something we're gonna fix? Absolutely not. It's part of its pedigree, it's part of its originality. Then let's have a look at the paperwork. She kept the pre-delivery checklist from Hawkeye Chevrolet. She kept the temporary registration and tags, the original license plates, the original frames. She kept all the owner's documentation, including the manual, the trim ring installation, the EPA. She kept the Chevrolet warranty book, the Protecto plate. We have photographs of the original tank sheet later being removed, it's in the file. All the original Chevrolet brochures are there. Copies of original sales contracts are all with the car. 
every piece of paperwork that you could have possibly kept, she did. So with any original car, there's a difference between an original paint car where the paint is really nice and a car where the paint is falling off the car. It's the same thing with the weather strips. Sometimes they're all cracked up, they're original, but really they need to be replaced. And that's what's so special about this car. And with 8,000 original miles on it, the paint looks virtually like new, other than the one spot on the hood that we talked about that was from the factory. Then you look at the tires. The tires still have, some of the tits on the tires, you can still see it. The tread is exceptional. All of the trim rings are like brand new. They're not nicked and marked. The undercarriage in the frame, if you got underneath there, still looks meticulous. It still has the paint, which normally has come off. It's still like brand new. The plating on the car is still exceptional. The spare tire tray looks brand new, and inside the tray is literally a brand new tire. The quality of this car is exactly the what you would expect with an 8,000 mile that's been stored properly. It looks more like a car that's maybe five years old. Now keep in mind, the quality of the cars back then isn't like today either. They were shot in lacquer. They're not quite as shiny. The gaps don't fit as nice, but that's kind of the charm of one of these old original cars is it's how they left the factory. After Gertrude sold the car in 94, it passed through a couple owners until the most recent owner realized what a special car he had. Then he started taking out some of the NCRS events and boy, did it ever clean up. It won virtually every award that an unrestored car can. In 2018, it won Bloomington Gold Benchmark, Bloomington Gold Survivor, Bloomington Gold Certified OEM. Also won a top flight in the NCRS chapter, it won a top flight in the regional, it won an NCRS four-star bow tie in the Nationals. In 2018, it won Macacken Concourse Gold and Triple Diamond and did it again in 2022. This car has won virtually every single award that it can. And obviously people understand what a special car it is. Benchmark cars are cars that we can really learn from. They're special cars that restorers look at and say, this is how it left the factory. This is how we should do it when we restore it. And this is really sort of the ultimate goal in a concourse restoration. Not over restoring them, not making them better, seeing all of the bonding strips and seeing all of the flaws that the factory left. A true concourse car should look like the day it was sold.